NFL playoffs and it's brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Pats and the Dolphins and it's all up next. Playoff fever has immersed South Florida as we are at Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami. Straight ahead, we punch the second of two tickets to the AFC title game, and we've got a great one in store, as it'll be the New England Patriots taking on the Miami Dolphins. Hello, everyone. As the postseason continues here on EA Sports, we're pleased to bring it to you. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And who has the edge here? You got one side that had some extra rest, but another comes in off a win last week in the wild card round. And it's funny, depending on which team you are, you say that that's an advantage. You'll take the rest. You'll take the week. For a berth in the AFC Championship game, off we go in the divisional round of the NFL playoffs. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. So now here come the Patriots to take over on offense. And leading him out is their rookie quarterback, the young man out of Alabama. He got the win last week, and we all know how infrequently rookie quarterbacks playoffs so by now it feels like old hat to him but well, maybe not old hat but you gotta believe he'll be looser calmer going into this one he already knows what it takes to lead a team to victory in the playoffs a loss of four that time on the sack and it brings up second if they have any thoughts of coming in here and getting this road victory that's not the way to start it out on the first play of the game yeah one thing you always say when you go on the road take the crowd out of the game they actually brought the crowd into it by permitting that sack right out of the gate. Second and 14. Swings this one out wide for Pierce. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Three and out, a real danger here on their opening drive as they come up on a third and 12. They're going to look to throw. And yeah, that will be incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Taken from just outside the 30. 44-yard punt, return of nine. And it'll be Dolphin football. So now we'll get a look at the other offensive unit as they come out for their first possession. And a glance here at their shifty mobile signal caller. For a guy still in his second year in the NFL, this is obviously a big spot for him to try and fill. Able to engineer the victory in the wild card round last weekend, that's got to give him confidence, and it's got to elevate the confidence of his teammates as well. But as he said after the win, Things are only going to get tougher from there. He understands the situation he's in. He understands what's ahead of him in this one. Second and 10. Now a first carry here for their running back. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And 4C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback on the expected passing situation. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes you just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Looking left side and it's complete. 
And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Over 100 catches in the regular season, and now he's got his first catch in these playoffs. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere, and they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people, but you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well, and that's what they just did on that play. This will be caught inside the 10. Touchdown! 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Dolphins are on the board first here in this division round matchup. Well, we knew they had the crowd on their side. Their defense has already made a stop, and now here's an opening drive touchdown. Yeah, how about the defense making the stop, offense feeling their momentum that they've generated, and turning into points on their side. So now you've got a team working together, and you've got the crowd involved fully on their side in this ball game. And in this playoff atmosphere, that 12th man means even more. Elliott Good with a PAT, and that makes the score 7-0. Five plays there on that drive. And it winds up in six points for the Dolphins. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. Now the Patriots gearing up to go now. And for them, maybe a little carryover from last week's game. They got the win on the road in the wild card round, on the road here again in the divisional round, but they're hanging tough. Hey, cue a little music, right? A little on the road again. I mean, this has been kind of the mantra they're under right now, and they can't change it. The season dictated what would happen with them, right? They had to go on the road for the first round for the playoff. They're on the road again, and sometimes teams get really comfortable with that. Not only the idea of going on the road and shocking the world, but just, hey, it's just us. We don't have to worry about outside distractions. It's just us. Let's go play. It becomes that us against the world mentality, doesn't it? And while it may be overplayed, you know, in the media, it's real when it comes time to play ball. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. Under pressure. They got him again. It'll go as a loss of about six, and now it brings up third. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And that is incomplete. But the pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get on track in this one. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. And he'll take it just outside the 40. They'll call it a punt of 44 yards. The return was for seven. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. So Miami coming out for their second drive. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. Back to throw here. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And now a pause. It looks like we have a Patriot injured on the play. We'll get an update when we come back to Hard Rock Stadium. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he's got his... And now look at this! Big game by Fumble! And it looks like one of the DBs has it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. 
A lot of talk this week about ball security. In fact, they added an extra period in practice to be more secure with the ball. It didn't work out there. Well, sometimes you just get overexcited during the game. You may all of a sudden make your catch, see some open field, and decide you're going for it and not realizing the danger lurks while you're... And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. Now, the question, was the knee, in fact, down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. They'll look to throw again. This will be caught just inside the 10. And they get him down at the 1. He had the broken tackle, but ultimately could not get into the end zone. Nice gain of 8 that time, and it's 2nd and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. They'll try to run this one in. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. That'll bring up fourth. They had the eight-yard gain on first down, but unable to do much from there. One word comes to mind to me after that last play, and that's alert. That defense took a chance guessing the snap count, and they were so right. Got great push up front, and that forces fourth and goal. The kick by Elliott is good, and the Dolphins will add on to their lead. So a touchdown on their opening drive, and three more here, and it adds to their first quarter lead. Yeah, everything's going according to plan so far because the offense has moved the ball, defense able to do their job, and here the special teams unit comes through with their contribution. A field goal to make it 10-zip. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Pats at the line ready to go. They're forced to play catch-up early in this division round game as they search for a seat in the AFC Championship round. So five yards here, five on the play. And it's second down. 10-0 the score after one on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Patriots in control of the football. Second and five. As they've got it as we resume action. Second and five. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked by Kendall Fuller, and he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. Well, CD, we have seen it many times throughout the course of the season. This defense coming up large and snagging a big takeaway. But here they get not just the takeaway, six points as well. And you just knew that for this team to advance, it had to get a big performance from this unit. And to this point, they've delivered. Elliott now to add the extra point. He's got it, and it's 17-0. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And they can't bring him down. Now a hit and a loose football. Now comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. They trail early on the road in the playoffs. Not a great combination as they've got it first and ten. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. The tight end Henry here in motion. Second and six. Right back to Henry, and Henry's got it again. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Third down and one.
Back to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Last week in that wild card win, only one catch, and now he's got his first catch here, and it's good for a first down. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit, and they get one here in the passing game. Back to throw again. Throwing right, and that's complete. They'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Again, he'll drop to throw. This will be caught by Brown. It'll go as a gain of four, and that'll bring up second down. So five plays on this drive, Charles. All passes, all completions, and just like that, they're in the red zone. And don't you think the playbook opens up a little bit more now? Because all they've done is throw the football. If you want to run it now, you may very well have the Touchdown, Patriots! Damian Pierce from 17 yards out. And the Patriots are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Solid response that time by a young quarterback. Last drive, interception. This drive, the touchdown pass. I like how you described it solid because you don't get extra kudos for bouncing back if you're going to be a big-time quarterback. You're supposed to do that. But at the same time, when you're a rookie, that's not guaranteed, is it? Sometimes they hang their heads and they go in the tank a little bit. Not in this case. Bounced back, took his team downfield, and threw a touchdown pass. So the lead back down to 10 as things get a little more interesting, and the kick is away. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But I also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And Hill is going to have a Dolphins first down as he'll be brought down at the 42-yard line. They'll look to throw. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Give him 12 yards there, and the Dolphins have a first down. They'll set up a throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Back to throw now on first down. Wide open receiver complete. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. A very solid gain of 27. It's all pretty simple sometimes, isn't it? Go where the defenders are not. And he does exactly that. Makes a nice catch to move the chains. Defense, got to find a better way of accounting for the shorter routes that are being run against them. Nothing doing there. They're going to wind up holding him at the two. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Second quarter action, two minutes to go on divisional round weekend. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. They'll try to run this one in. And he is in. Touchdown, Miami. A great play there with a 
his second touchdown here in this first half. And his guys now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And, partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play and actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on the stat sheet, but you and I both know, and he knows as well, his teammates airing it out made this a successful drive. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Their quarterback in this offense heading back out to the field. He had the short touchdown pass on their previous drive. And they'll begin again here on first and 10. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That's complete to Pierce. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Third and four. He'll look to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. That feels like an accumulation of the pressure we've seen all game. I mean, he's been on the turf a whole lot because of sacks. Eventually, something else happens as well. And this time, it was a turnover. Yeah, caught up to him. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. And he doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back, and that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that's going to bring up second down. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Gets this one to Hill. Now the Dolphins gonna burn the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Over the middle, complete. It's Hill. And the Dolphins are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. He'll drop to throw. Now he's got it. They showed off a nice juke of the defender before the next wave could bring him down. Second and goal from the one. They'll try to run this one in. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. The kick by Elliott is good, and the Dolphins will add onto their lead. So they get the turnover in plus territory. The drive stalls out, but still able to get three out of that. Yeah, we were able to see an offense and a defense kind of mix and match with each other, didn't we? Both of them trying to make sure that they have the upper hand in the advantage. Offense trying to get to the end zone. Defense, of course, trying to hold them to a field goal attempt. And it wasn't a guaranteed lock three from where they started. So, you know, their offense has to be happy to come away with those three points. So it's on to halftime in this AFC Divisional Round matchup. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach.
will start up at TIAA Bank Stadium in Jacksonville, where it was definitely a game with some intrigue, as you can see by the scoreline. Lamar Jackson, another strong performance as his guys claim victory number 13 on the year. This was an extremely one-sided first half. One team showed up, ready to go. The other's been in a daze thus far, but there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Out comes the Dolphins now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And they're in the position they expected to be in. They've got the lead, home crowd behind them, and they're looking toward making that next step in these playoffs. And I think a key for them is to put together some good, long, extended drives. Work to run in a little more with that big offensive line. I'm not saying get away from throwing the football. That's still working. But if they run it more effectively, they may get even bigger plays in the passing game. Second and 13. Looking middle, and that's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now that's good for a first down. There's a guy who went over 1,000 yards receiving in the regular season, and now he's got his first catch of the playoffs. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. Now the first carry here for the running back. And a really good show of force there as he gets through for four tough yards. From the 48-yard line, here's the second down and six. And he's got his man in stride, complete. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it. And now it's third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Now back to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. I'd have to say they're feeling like they are in rhythm right now. Things are in sync, aren't they? Team's winning, got a nice little margin on the scoreboard, completing some passes, and they just completed another one for a first down there to the tight end. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Here's second and 10. They'll drop to throw. And his throw is incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the Pats will take over here just shy of the 30. Well, pretty much everything went their way offensively in the first half, but now an interception on the opening drive of the third quarter. As we know, the key to everything here, don't get careless with the football. The problem is you've got to stay aggressive as well. So where's the line between being aggressive and attacking and being overly aggressive? I think they just crossed it on that one. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. And they have had their problems moving the ball through the air as we take you through some of the action from earlier. This secondary has played about as well as you can. Many times they've left this quarterback with nowhere to go with the football. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And they just got a little help from their defense forcing the turnover. Now can they make that pay off in points? They need to, partner. They're down on the scoreboard. Need to take advantage of those opportunities. And this is a good one right in front of them. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there. And it's second down. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. They'll set up to throw. That one out wide and intercepted. 
And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. He's had a fantastic rookie season, made a lot of lovely throws, but that wasn't one of them. Well, we got to give him one, don't we? I mean, with the year he's having, a lot easier for he and his teammates to accept that throw because for the most part, what they've seen, it's been pretty sensational. The Miami's offense set and ready to go. And they'll have good field position here following the interception and a chance to build on their lead as they start with a first and ten. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. But defensively, you're over there trying to catch your breath and try not to show the offense that you're a little bit fatigued. You're right back out there after the turnover. Now they've got to work towards getting another couple of stops and forcing them into at least a long field goal situation. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Here comes third and about a foot. Off the RPO, he completes it. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. So first and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Looking to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and three at the 15-yard line. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And the Dolphins are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. First and goal at the seven-yard line. The offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Still first down. The delay of game, a costly one, as they're backed up five for first and goal. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. Now a fake on the jet sweep, and they'll instead run up the middle. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and no more. They'll motion the tight end across the formation. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And it's caught. Touchdown, Dolphins. From 13 yards out. And the Dolphins continue to show why it pays to play at home in the postseason as they add on to their lead. So, my man, another touchdown. They're looking like the number one seed that they earned throughout the year. Looking pretty dominant right now. We knew the road to the Super Bowl would run right through this stadium. Somebody's going to have to come in here and beat these guys. Good luck. I don't think it's happening this weekend. No, definitely not this weekend. And for anyone else out there, bring your game. Buyer, beware. Elliott good on the extra point. And that stretches the lead all the way up to 27. Now a hit and a loose football. The Patriots offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And it's been a struggle for him all afternoon. This defense has really done a nice job of making him earn everything he gets. And it's prevented him from getting into any kind of rhythm here today. The Pats at the line ready to go. Well, this has been a tough one for them, Charles. They've struggled really on both sides of the football. And one thing that's really plagued them, the turnovers. They've had issues keeping the football in their possession. 
in every game that's ever been played, <laughs> all coaches talk about taking care of the football and limiting turnovers. And in this one, after we saw that first turnover, we worried that things would snowball, and it certainly did, especially on the scoreboard. Second and four. Swings this one out wide for Pierce. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. One quarter remains for the right to advance to the AFC title game. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Miami. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Now a second and ten. They'll look to throw again. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Baker. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Boy, how good has this defense been seemingly all game long? I really think right from the first snap, I think you're really onto something there. In this passing game, it just can't get off the ground. And that play, it wound up losing yardage. This offense so far on third down, just one for five to this point. This is third and 11. Back to throw here. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. He couldn't get away there on third down. The pressure too much, and he's sacked for a loss of 12. And you hate to say it with a rookie quarterback. He's done some good things, but overall, looked a little bit overwhelmed back there, hasn't he? He certainly has. But in his defense, he hadn't had a lot of time to throw the football. You like the way I said that? In his defense. In his defense. I got it. Yeah. See what I did there? Yeah. He needs better protection, that's for sure. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down. And the Dolphins get the football in great field position. The Dolphins offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. And we'll take you through some of the highlights here. You'll notice he had a hand in a lot of them so far. He's got this offense rolling right now. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. From the gun, they'll try to run it. Unable to corral him, he fights through. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. That good for 19 and a first down. And that's a great run, and this is where you've got a running back who feels like he needs to take over this football game. You're in the second half, you've got the lead. You're looking at moving on to the conference championship, and he's got to be saying, just keep giving me the ball, and I'll get us home. Excellent job pushing through tacklers that time to pick up six. Second and four, they could still get a first down without scoring. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. From six yards away. And the Dolphins are drawing closer to a date in the AFC title game as they extend this fourth quarter lead. Well, when coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's, it's been fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes in the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. And when you go back to the early drives, you can just see that one squad was on a different level in this game. Safe to say, we have been disappointed in watching their execution throughout this contest. Out 
out as the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. So the Patriots coming out now. Their hopes of advancing past this divisional round hanging by a thread, if that, as they begin here with a first and 10 on the wrong side of the scoreboard. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Slot man moves right. They'll look to throw here on first down. Throw left side complete. That's Pierce. So the completion good for seven there, and that'll make it second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. And he drops it incomplete, and their struggles continue here. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 27-yard line. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Now the ball comes loose, and this is picked up by the Dolphins. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, say, down this big in the fourth Yeah, you'd quarter. say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And it would appear that that first round bye certainly helped. They've looked fresh from the start and no letdown here as they lead big in this divisional round and they look to book a spot in the conference championship. They'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run and it's second and four. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations but the extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Two yards still to go. Third down now. They'll look to throw here. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard game there on third and two. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he is going to lose yardage here. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef, they want to run the football. But that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. Four yards on the pickup there, and now they're left with a third and eight. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. On third down, they're going to run for it here. And he's going to come up a few yards short. Brought down at the 45. They'll get six there on the run, but it brings up fourth down. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. 
Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. And they have secured a spot in the conference championship. And now you can start to smell it at this point in the season, can't you? You really can because the focus has been one game at a time, not looking ahead. But when you get to the conference championship game and you know you're there, the Super Bowl does loom in the future. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. The Dolphins are winners here as we say so long from South Florida.